Hey everybody, how's it hanging? Ha, <laughs> just joking. Anyways, through these doors, what do we have? What do we have? Ghost is clear so far. Ooh, what is this? Don't mind if I take that nice little sword. The water sword, ladies and gentlemen. It is the final and strongest sword in the game. Yes, much easier. Let's make it official. Cool. You gain water sword. Well, you know, since it's just lying there, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> what harm could come of it, right? You know, it kind of reminds me of that old saying that the pen is mightier than the sword. Well, I I hate that saying. Well, let me t let me talk about the game for a second. Let's get through here. Oh, that's right. She sealed off the door. You guys remember? It was only two episodes ago. But yeah, the pen was mightier than the sword. There's even a Geico commercial about it. Like calling Geico can save you 15% or more on your next car insurance, but something like that. But there was a commercial specifically on that saying, like where there's a ninja and like some civilian guy. The ninja, the ninja obviously has a sword, while the civilian has like a pen. And here's the thing, he doesn't actually fight with the pen, which would make a lot of sense, but he like signs off on a some like FedEx delivery to get a taser or something like that, and he just shocks the ninja. And I understand how the pen is a of course a metaphor for like communication and community, something like that, but I like to take things literally the and of whoa. Time. After cutscene. all I've done to be rid of them, they still, still haunt, me. haunt me. Even if I am to find the mask of the Wraith. Fate will find a way to reclaim me. Come on, Prince, you gotta, you gotta have some courage. I mean, some hope. Chance. Some joke. Change Fail. and hope. Man, that was an old episode. What, what is it, 2008? You guys remember I that South Park episode? Change. <laughs> Marsh. It looks similar to the ones I saw on my way back from the prison. Indeed. I think it's crazy enough to work. Wait, he hasn't said his idea yet. It worked earlier. Ah, yes, I think it's crazy enough to work. Alright, as can obviously be induced from the cutscene, we just gotta break that wall open. Another cutscene, what? Two cutscenes in a row, wow, is it my birthday or something? You know, I'm all for cutscenes and everything, but two minutes and I have not accomplished what a if? thing. What if what, Prince? What if Kylina didn't die in the past, but in the present? Go on. The sands would be created, ah. but the Maharaja would fail to find them. That's right. They'd never be brought to his palace, and I would never release them. Hmm. The Dahaka will have no business with me. Makes sense My to me. My goal is clear, then. Use the mask to force Kylina into the present where I can kill her. Giggity. It's simple. Or sounds simple. Yeah, sounds simple enough. Let's try it. What could go wrong? Anyways, let's evac <laughs> evacuate. Activate these switches, and onto the time portal we go. Beep. Cool. You know if, uh... TV has taught me anything, it's like going back into the past and, well actually, we're going back to the present right now, but the point is, going back and changing history doesn't- ooh, what do we have here? New sand tank, cool, oh, I think that makes six, awesome. We're almost done with the game, guys, man, I'm gonna be sorry to see this game go. Not really, it's been an editing nightmare, <laughs> just joking. Anyways, something about time travel and ramifications, I forgot what I was gonna say, what's through here? Anything special? Super happy fun time dogs? Ah, oh, let's kill those guys. Now fortunately, these are the non-exploding variety. And they go down pretty fast, they can't block, which is one thing I really like about them. But, on the other hand, they're kind of hard to hit, unless you slow down time, which is what I do at open now. <laughs> sucker. And I'm pretty sure most of them don't give a sound. There are some enemies that drop them, like very occasionally, and some that don't drop at all. I think that the, yeah, of course the exploding variety is a definite non-dropper. <laughs> Whatever that means. I'm not sure about the non exploding variety. Anyways, let's get out of here. Shimmy, 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 and jump. Cool. To victory. Um, so yeah, I was, I was, I had something, I was gonna say something about ramifications, and it was gonna be really, like, really witty and humorous, but can't quite remember. Anyways, as you can see here, we're in water, so if we try to wall run, we can't really get very high, so we gotta go use this little ledge over here and climb our way to victory. My microphone is slightly out of position, let me move it, and hopefully you didn't hear that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go and get our double weapon, because this might be a boss fight. This looks like an arena, if you ask me. Woo! Wait for it, wait for it, no? No cussing? Okay, fine, I'll take it. Aw, oh, I just had to talk. <laughs> Anyways, some enemies, let's kill these guys really fast. Oh, my back! Let's use a couple of years of gaming, uh, gaming experience to kill uh, the melee troops before we go after the ranged. Oh, my face! Actually, it's the other way around. If you can like get to flank the ranged, you typically I'm thinking archers for some reason. Um, then it's always better to kill them before you engage melee troops. 
There, just a tip from Brannigan's Big Book of War. Ha! <laughs> a Futurama joke. Man, I feel classier already. Alright, what's over here? More dogs. Sucker. And block your face. Ah, <laughs> you missed. Let's just skip them. I don't really feel like fighting them. And off we go. Air brakes. Gotta love air brakes. And blind jump. We made it. Cool. Fortunately, there was a column right there. I didn't really see it before I took off running, but that's the kind of risk you gotta take. Um, don't see anything, anything. Um, oh, there we go. I got you. Now, this right here, you have, you have to do a little bit of trial and error because it activates a platform to the right over here. You see? And it's pretty easy to miss this. Whoa. Glitching. None of that now. None of that now. Should clear up soon enough. Playing kind of blind there. Okay, we made it. Okay, cool. Another switch up here. Let's just press that and see what happens. Ooh, something good. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? I keep saying that a lot, Who'd have thunk it? And that's not, that's a pretty stupid catchphrase if you ask me. So I'm going to try to not say that anymore. And run away. Now, some vertical. Not really vertical, but like angled jumping right there. Uh, pretty cool tactic. That, kind of, kind of weird that they introduced it so late into the game. But, you know, whatever. Slicing power activate. <laughs> they kind of died a little faster than I thought because I was aimlessly slashing for a couple seconds but let's break this door and sand no I thought that was sand I guess it's like glitched in the wall or something let's get out of here I, I kind of feel unsafe running across walls exactly like a trap or something but you know we made it alive and that's all that matters right the answer of course is no <laughs> just joke I made that joke already I keep reusing old jokes kind of kind of out of material if you guys haven't guessed by now Again, feeling really unsafe. I kind of miss a dog. I haven't seen that guy in a while. I kind of miss him hurrying us along because it kind of kind of makes the game more intense, you know? But hey, what do we got here? Ooh, cutscene. See you guys in a little bit. Such a drama queen. It wasn't trying to kill me, but warn me. Warn me of Kylina's betrayal, of my own role in creating the sands. And in the end, it died. I died. is part of me now, and if the Maharaja's tale is true, it will remain this way until my other self perishes. Only then can I remove the mask. Alright, you are the Sand Wraith. Now the sands of time regenerate, but your life slowly fades away. Press space to continue. What is a space bar that you- I'm <laughs> just joking. Yeah, where? The Sand Wraith, check me out, cool. He looks awesome with those swords, doesn't he? Anyways, yeah, the trick with this guy is- Pretty much spam your sand abilities. I like to slow down time or I actually go to ravage the time mostly. I, I just happen to misclick the time ability button right there. But check this out. Ravages of time. Here we go. Whoops, kinda of fell off right there. <laughs> just joking. I meant to do that. Kill that guy really quick. Yeah, like I said, you're not gonna wanna take any hits in the storm because as I've said before, as I've read, if <laughs> you weren't paying attention, you slowly take damage over time and um I would say even for the smallest hit you take, just reverse time because you have pretty much unlimited sense and you should really use that to your advantage. Okay, jump up there and where are we at? 10 minutes? Uh, I guess we can go a little bit more. Why not? And time power activate. <laughs> even for the sm slightest obstacles, I would really recommend using them. Hmm. I think we can make that jump. Let's try it. 
And barely made that one. Woo! <laughs> Even glad I grabbed onto the edge there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and fall under here. Cool. And, <laughs> like I said, I'm just using my powers willy-nilly because it really helps out, especially for the moving obstacles. Yeah, you guys get the point. Whoa, 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 razor blade. That's a pretty big blade. And here, I was actually chilling for a second because I was expecting the top blade to kind of like go in us, but it's stuck at the end over there. So, time wasted, right? Jump on over there. Wait for it, wait for it. Just bide your time, Prince. Bide your time and jump. So, I was going to talk about something earlier, but I kind of forgot what it was. Um, well, I guess I could talk about my new game, mixing games and commentaries, but I kind of promised it. Not really, I really promise it in a bulletin earlier this week, last week. But here's the thing. I don't think I'd be able to update that one as much as I'd like to, so I'm going to hold off on it. You know, with the new semester starting and everything. I'm not going to have all the free time in the world. Like, I'm, summer break rules. But here we go. What do we got? Cycling of Fate? Uh, not that great. I probably won't be using it on screen. It's just, a, again, a modified, improved version of the, the Shockwave I showed oh so long ago. <laughs> it kind of feels like I'm doing a channel update now, doesn't it? But here's the deal. I am i don't want to stop updating completely while I'm in school. I mean, I'm going to be busy, but heck, I'll have a few moments. But yeah, I want to do some game that's less intensive as this one. Um, you guys certainly, hopefully, don't really see it, but I do a real, I really do put a lot of work into these from the editing side. And, uh, it's been kind of a, kind of a time during, like, at least two hours. I know I joke about it, but it takes about an hour to record, you know, like, 30 minutes practice, 30 minutes footage. And on top of that, at least an hour to edit it down, like, all my fail. And that goes, uh, is again, a lot of that falls on me. But, you know, I thought I'd just fill you guys in. I hate to drop all this on you uh, right out of left park. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at today. I don't, like I said, I don't want to stop updating completely. Maybe pick a game. Um, I do have one in mind. One I can do pretty much blind. Not for, no, I, again, I don't do blind games. And this puzzle I had totally not even, I'm supposed to like jump to the other side, jump back. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, I do have another, another game in mind. Not the one I originally wanted to do because that one would also take a lot of work. Not really editing wise but like I'd have to research how to do a hundred percent of it because I've never done a hundred percent of it and it's something that I'd really like to do but you know we'll get there when we get there and what do we have here now we've got a boss fight bring it monsters bring it you think I'm scared of you wow that was a close call all right you know what I'm ready for you bring it 